my name is James Hockley, I'm a producer and musician. I also run a website called collaboratemusic.com, it's a remix website, so get yourselves over there and check it out. This track is a, a remix for uh, our first artist on Collaborate Music, a guy called Sean Grant and the Wolf Gang. Let's crack on. Okay, so I've already imported into a brand new session the, uh, the, the parts that I chose in the other video about how I choose parts to use in the remix. Um, all I do is you just go to the media button up here, all files, choose the original project and then you can import whatever tracks you want to import from there. Just add an add on there and it will add them into the current project for you. I just find it's a much easier way of working, it gets rid of any extra audio and, and just keeps everything nice and neat and tidy. I like things to be nice and neat and tidy. So, the other plugin I've got in here is my MPC plugin. It's because I'm using this one here, I'm going to open the window on there for you so you can see what's going on. Because you won't be able to see my little screen on here which is what I'm looking at. Uh, I tend to use this for pretty much everything. I'm just going to go to the browser into my folder here and just show programs and we're going to have let's load that bank in there that's pretty good let's get some other stuff in let's have a Lindrum in there and we've got 808 in there as well which is just uh, it just banks of sounds that I've made up from sample packs and things like that um, so can have that. Let's just come down and just see what. Uh, it's a pretty nice hi hat. Cool. It's pretty standard 808 kit. So let's go ahead and put in a four on the floor beat because generally that's that's how I would start. Um, so we'll just do that now. So I'm pop in and put the put the, the uh, cycle band on in Logic there as well, just so it's going to keep looping around the start there for me. I'm just going to mute everyone, I'll just solo this off for the moment. I don't want to hear anything else at the moment. Let me just put a quick beat in. Another track up on there. And then one more track up, we'll just put a quick hi hat in there as well. Use that one for this. Okay, so got that in stuck into the um, on the MPC plugin. I'm going to close the window on that now. Uh, let's see, see how that sounds against with the vocal here. Because that's a pretty much the sort of beat I'm thinking of using. Second. Okay. 
Let's try that on there. So I think we're going to use that off of this microbrute here. So I'm going to go in and make a new software instrument track. Um, and let's get the inspector. Where's the inspector here? There we go. And we're going to load in. There he is. Uh, yeah, we're going to load in um, an external instrument, which is a fantastic plugin because it allows me to choose when we're coming in one two three four should be there we go lovely i'm just going to go into my other software on the computer here for my sound card and just turn that down MIDI on that as well, perfect. So I'm just going to pop that in now, and then it's coming straight into Logic as well. Okay, let's try that. Let's give that a bit of a quantize. Quantize that up on there. And then we'll just loop that across. The great thing about having an external instrument plugin is that it deals with all latency and everything for you, which is absolutely perfect. Exactly what you want it to do. Um, I'm going to need to just pop in a, a compressor on that as well, I think. And we're going to put in a DCA on that, knock that down there, give it about 2.1 on that. Uh, and then I'm going to give it a sidechain. Now, for sidechain triggering, I tend to just use nice and straightforward uh, 9 kit and that the yeah, XS24 because it gives it a nice solid base. Four of them, quantize them, make them all high velocity, loop it across there like that. Now, what I'll do now is I'll just disable the output or send it to a bus. I normally choose bus 13 for some reason, don't ask me why, and then it creates a bus for me. There we go, let's just pull that up so it's got easy to see. We don't want this bus, so I'll just delete it and just do delete anyway. And that means now that this is going to play, but it's not going to go anywhere unless I tell it to feed into something such as a compressor like that.
let's just pop a couple of that a little uh what have I got on here for that? What have I got on there for that? Right, okay, so um adaptive limiter on the outputs. Normally that's normally the quad, but normally have on an output. Back off the input until it can never go over zero. Okay, so that's the basic groove. The most important thing for me when you start a remix is just get a little loop of the vocal, get a groove going, get a drum beat going, get a bass line that grooves off of that. Just like we've got here with the beat from the MPC, we've got the micro group coming in. You can see how I'm using the external gear coming into Logic. It's playing inside Logic. It's been affected by Logic stuff. Um, Logic's amazing for doing that. Uh, let's just use a different plugin. I'm just going to pop this in as Micro Brute. Should demonstrate where I would go from here. Take, maybe taking a, some chords or something in there. Uh, I'm just going to obviously save it first. Let's add another track. And we're going to use. This time we're going to have a. Let's try this retro synth to get with Logic 10. I've not had a lot of experience with this. But I'm up for it. Synth strings, bright strings, let's see. It's quite nice. Let's knock off the decay on that. Perfect. No delay on it or anything, is there? No, good. Let's give it a straightforward tap. Very nice. Okay, that'll do. We'll have some try some on that for the moment. Let's put a um, or we'll just put an EQ on it. I tend to put EQs on everything anyway, just even if I'm not going to use them, I'll put them on because you never know when you might want to use them. Uh, let's just get that little pumping sound going on here as well. Something like that anyway, so we'll just pop that in here. Quantize that. 
that. Okay, so you've got that little groove going there as well, that's pretty cool, and then, I don't know, you'd have something like a, um, an arpeggiator as well, or something going in there, let's try something like an arpeggiator, um, have you got any of that? MIDI sync's not on, I'll just put MIDI sync on. on the sequencer there as well and we'll just check that in as well Just put some effects on that. And our faithful compressor as well. Oh, 
and that's how you start a remix. So I start a remix. Um, yeah, so you just get a good groove going and then build it up with the vocals and start doing some effects and filters and things.